that's to get some in. They'll tell you now if you ask your best to get some in. So leave your mummy's laughing arms, there's no way you can win. You're victim of your corporal's job, so get some in. The rat's got two years of your life, now isn't that a sin? There's only one way to get out, and that's to get some in. Get some in! Come in. Corporal Marsh, sir, you wanted to see me? I don't particularly want to see you, Marsh. It's a question of expediency. Well, I got here as quickly as I could, sir. No, I meant... Oh, never mind. Stand easy. Yes, sir. Now, how many national servicemen do you suppose have passed through RAF Skelton since we've been here? 13,476, sir. I'll tell you. It's 13,400... <laughs> <laughs> Look, how did you know that? It's a gift, sir. Would you like me to recite the alphabet backwards for you, sir? No. <laughs> now, that means that you and I in sea flight have trained... A quarter of that number, sir, because there are four flights. Yes. A total of... 3,396, sir. <laughs> Correct. Here, here we are, sir. Try this one. You asked me to name you any derby winner for the last 50 years, sir. Look, shut up. <laughs> yes. And do you know how many sea flights that makes? 140, sir. 140. <laughs> Correct, sir. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> In other words, we have had 140 opportunities of winning the interflight competition at the end of basic training. Correct again, sir. Then why have we never won it? Because we have never come first, sir. <laughs> I'll put that another way. Why have we always come last? I'll tell you why, sir. Because sea flight always gets lumbered with all the crap, sir. Not 144 times. 140, sir. All right, 140. Now, it isn't just the luck of the draw, Corporal Marsh. I would suggest that the weak link is here in this room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't accept that, sir. Oh, can't you? No, sir, you are never a weak link, sir. <laughs> Not I don't mean me. I mean you. Me, sir? Yes. Oh, you bring the men up to a certain standard of efficiency, all right? Oh, thank you, sir. By threatening, punishing and general bullying. Well, thank you again, sir. But when it comes to the end of square bashing tests, they fail on purpose for one very good reason. Yes, sir, they're crap, sir. <laughs> no, because they hate you. Could you prove that in a court of law, sir? I don't need to. We keep coming last. Well, not this time, Corporal Marsh, or the group captain says I'm... Not this time. This time, we come first. There are four numerical reasons why that is not possible, sir. Which are? Only Joe Lilly, Edward VII Smith, Jockstrap Lecky and Puffhouse Richardson, <laughs> sir. <laughs> They're no better and no worse than hundreds of other chats we've had through here. No, the crux of the matter is that, come the crunch, they simply won't try for you. Oh, I'm on I'd into nothing here, sir. I feel like Cyclops. <laughs> what? Cyclops, the Greek bloke who carried the world on his shoulders, sir. <laughs> that was Atlas. No, no, sir, I think you'll find he was the bloke that did the bodybuilding course. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to bandy Greek mythology with you. I'm going to invoke a principle which I learned at prep school, public school, university, and as an officer in the Royal Air Force. Well, what's that, sir? Bribery. <laughs> <laughs> Just <that. laughs> I am promoting you to acting sergeant, but we'll leave your chevrons on the desk for the time being. Now, as you know, Marsh, <laughs> an acting rank can be taken away as quickly as it's given. So only pick up those stripes if you can assure me that sea flight will finish as top flight. Otherwise, they... Oh, this is the finest, <laughs> proudest moment of my life. <laughs> well, don't blood, man. Oh, I can't help myself, sir. Look, do you want a glass of water? Yes, please, sir. Fine. Well, there's one in the ablutions on your way out. <laughs> God bless you, sir. <laughs> That's it now, chaps. Nice and relaxed. Now, on the count of three. One... Two, three. <laughs> Your flash never went off. That's a terrific one to finish with. One of you going. <laughs> oh well, the ones we took outside should be all right anyway. I still don't understand why anyone should want a photograph of this manky dump. 
<laughs> well, we won't be here much longer. One wants to take away some sort of memento of RAF skeleton, doesn't one? No, one doesn't. One wants the old place burnt to the bloody ground, doesn't one? <laughs> now, that would be great. Yeah. Especially if Corporal Marsh was the guy on top of the bonfire. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, watch out. <laughs> See, you're a sergeant now, Corporal. <laughs> hey? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I've got made up today. You don't seem very chuffed about it. Don't I? What's that bit in the Bible, Matthew? The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord, yes. Yeah. What do you mean? What do I mean? I mean, getting these stripes should have been the greatest day of my life. But then I heard the other business and it all just went flat. What other business, Corporal? Uh, Sergeant? <laughs> I've just found out that Flight Lieutenant Grant is a dying man. You're what? True, he's getting invalided out next week. He's going back to his farm in the Cotswolds. But he'll never see the next harvest come in, and he knows it. <laughs> What's the matter with him? Heart? Lungs? Both. <laughs> but I played rugby with him on Saturday. Ah, yes, but I mean, you didn't have to take him over home after the game like I did, did you? I mean, you didn't have to get him undressed and put him to bed like I did. You didn't have to comfort his poor wife like I did. And you didn't see him in his office this morning, struggling to stand up when he gave me these stripes like I did. <laughs> oh, crumbs. Well, that's typical of life. It just kills you. <laughs> <laughs> Will the Padre be holding a special service? Oh, of course he won't. Granty don't want anybody to know. Oh, no. I've betrayed him. I promised him that I wouldn't breathe a word to a living soul, and now I've told you lot. Well, that's all right. We're not living souls. We're zombies. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, we won't split. <clears throat> oh, well. Thanks, lads. Well, it's just a shame that we couldn't... No, never mind. Couldn't what, Sergeant? Well, I was just thinking that it'd be rather nice if sea flight could become top flight. You know, it'd be like, uh, well, call it an epitaph. Pull the other one, Sergeant. Oh, I know what you're thinking, Ted. You think if Sea Flight wins the shield, that it would somehow feather my nest. Yeah, you've got it. it. Well, I don't blame you, but you see, there's no point. Because my nest has already been feathered. I've been made up to Sergeant whether Sea Flight wins or loses. <laughs> oh, I know I'm a bastard. A right fits. But just because I'm a bastard, that don't mean to say that I don't care about someone who hasn't got very long to live. <laughs> anyway, lads, it's up to you. Well, I'm going to try. It's all we can do. Flight Lieutenant Grant may be a twit, but he's never been a vicious twit. <laughs> I agree. A harmless twit's the best you can expect an officer to be. <laughs> Particularly an English officer. <laughs> well, he's always played in Jolly Square with us. I think we owe him at least this much. What do you think, Jakey? Stuff it. <laughs> now, all right, the poor geezer's gonna kick the bucket. But winning some stupid shield ain't gonna make it less of a clang, is it? Nah, it's Marsh. He's up to something, and I know it. But how could he gain? I don't know, anyway. So you're not going to try and win the shield, then? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I don't understand. I'll oh, use your love. Listen, if I'm the only one not trying, I'm gonna stick out like a sore thumb, aren't I? And we all know what happens to sore thumbs in a raft, don't we? They get amputated. <laughs> Well, I don't know what we're arguing about. I mean, we're the ones who have to do the tests. We'll probably all be dead before Grant anyway.
van Leip. Flight disqualified for attempted cheating. Champagne, it's Brian Allen, I'm afraid. Hey, uh, Matthew, yours is the orange one. Uh, lads, I'd, uh, I'd like to propose a toast. A very sincere and meaningful toast. Bridget Bardo's knockers. <laughs> Oh, it was worth a smile, wasn't it? <laughs> well, cool, blimey, you won a shield and you sit like three undertakers. I do wish you'd choose your words more carefully. Why? What are you talking about? Flight like Lieutenant Grant is a dying man, Jakey. So? You got him his going away present. <laughs> He's happy. You're happy. The only thing that can muck it up now is if he dies before we can give it to him. Jakey, a little more compassion, please. He's a human being. No, he ain't. He's an officer. <laughs> You've got about as much feeling as one of those dumplings we had for dinner. Oh! Well, personally, I'm glad we won in the shield. So am I. I hope he's not cremated. <laughs> They're only burning his body, Bruce, not his soul. Oh, I know that. It's just they might put that in his chest. <laughs> It'd be a real shame to burn a lovely bit of walnut like that. <laughs> well, lads, you pulled it off. Way. Way. Congratulations. Sergeant, I've been wondering, what do you think is the best way to present the shield to Flight Lieutenant Grant? A little ceremony, you mean? Yes. Well, a good idea. Well, you can't do it this afternoon. In a coma, is he? No. He's out playing squash. <laughs> 20 weights, please, love. What about his heart and his lungs? Oh, didn't I tell you? They got better. <laughs> <laughs> yes, lads, I've been telling little fibs again. Oh, you blinking flipper! Yes, lads. <laughs> I suppose I am a blinking flipper, but I still made you win that shield for me, didn't I? I knew it, didn't I? Just to get a shield, Corporal. Just to get a shield, Sergeant. Well, what a ghoulish method. Anyhow, for us, it wasn't just to win the shield. If you didn't win that shield, I wouldn't have kept my stripes. 
Saucy little sergeant, aren't I? <laughs> Just yet, Alice. Let's just stand here for a moment and drink in that sign. <laughs> it's beautiful. It? <laughs> just to think, only yesterday I was a mere corporal. And the day before. And the nine years before that. <laughs> Has it been that long? Yes. Good Lord, don't time fly. No. We're here now anyway. We are here now. And that is all that is important. <laughs> Just think, we are like two people standing outside the pearly gates who know they have got reservations inside. Take my hand, Percy. I'm a stranger in paradise. <laughs> Be likewise, my love. Am I seem straight? Yes, my queen. Are my stripes straight? <laughs> yes, my sergeant. Come on, then. <laughs> Smell something. <laughs> Bar Stuart? Yes, Sergeant. A one egg flip and a mild and bitter, please. Well, come on, come on, move. Sorry, Sergeant. Waiter's service doesn't start till 8 30. Why? Mess rules. Don't you give me none of that. You get your flat feet over here now. Move! <laughs> yes, Sergeant. Stay there, son. <coughs> Corp. Sergeant Marsh. Could I have a word with you? Oh, I'll be with you straight away, Sid. Excuse me, Alice. Sid wants a word with me. <laughs> uh, what is it you want here, Sid? Chief. Oh, now, come on, Sid. You don't want to bandy your rank about in the mess. And what were you just doing, then, with that bar steward? Oh, I'll have you know that I am now a sergeant. I am entitled to be waited on. You heard the lad. There are mess rules. Yeah? Well, I want them changed. Oh, you do, do you? Yes, I am the new broom here. Yes, a new broom with a big head. Look, Sid. <laughs> Chief! Chief! I will have you know I am now a sergeant. So what? We're all sergeants or flat sergeants or warrant officers here. Maybe, but I am a sergeant. All right. All right. We'll do it your way, then. Better? Uh, would you like to see some of the mess facilities? Yes, I would. Right, I'll show you the um, billiard room first, then. Right, sit. This way. Sergeant. Just had the tables recovered. Yeah. And after you, Sergeant. Thank you, sit. Oh, I forgot to ask you. Do you play? Sorry about the little fracas, Bar Steward. My husband's bark's worse than his bite. Well, that's a shame, madam. It's just the other way round with Flight Sergeant Tidy. How do you mean? <laughs> now then! Oh! Now, no, 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 Sick quarters, quickly, Alice! What's happened? Oh, well, oh, well. All through basic training, I've been trying to find a way of getting Marsh. Oh, I got him all right. I got him his bloody third stripe, didn't I? <laughs> you know what our trouble is, don't you? We're basically too nice. We ain't. We're too stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Royal Air Force. That's got a ring to it, hasn't it? I'm beginning to think we'd get fairer treatment in prison. You would. My Uncle Albert learned to read in prison. <laughs> well, I just thank my lucky stars I've got a way out. What, are you going to desert then? No, I'm going to get a commission. Well, at least they're officers and gentlemen. <laughs> Rubbish! That just means they're more posh at being horrible. <laughs> and as for you ever becoming an officer... Oh, do put a sock in it, please! <coughs> what are you waving your teeth in ring for? <laughs> because I'm facing a moral dilemma, that's why. I have to pray for Sergeant Marsh tonight. No problem. Just ask God to strike him dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got to ask God to forgive him for telling all those dreadful lies about Flight Lieutenant Grant dying. But the awful thing is, in my heart of hearts, I don't want Marsh to be forgiven. <laughs> See, 
The raff even makes a saint go mildew. <laughs> Hello, lads. Hello, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What's that? Petrol. I'm setting fire to the hut. <laughs> The only solution, burn everything, incinerate the area! Yeah. Oh, oh, Don't you put in! There ain't any fire! No, but there could be! Do you want to get Bruce court-martialed or something? Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right, you can let me go now. I'm perfectly rational. <laughs> Good. <laughs> now, Bruce... Oh. Bruce! Bruce. <laughs> no, Bruce. <laughs> Good boy, Bruce. <laughs> Give me the matches, Bruce. No, put them down. <laughs> Just my luck, it won't lay there wet. You stupid twit! You could have gone up in a sheet of tartan flame, then. Oh, come on, Jake, let's get this mopped up before somebody finds it. Right, Matthew, uh, chuck that over the uh, edge, petrol, over the edge outside. Go on. Um, right, shall I bring the can back when I've done with it? It's the can we want to get rid of. It's evidence, isn't it? I want a drink. You just sit there and behave yourself. We've got a lot on here. I want a drink. Oh, yeah, Bruce, drink that. Uh, well, thanks, Ken. You're a good gym. Come on. OK, let's get in the <laughs> We're stuck. Marshall's coming. Bless it. We've had it. And perhaps you might not notice the smell. Ah, oh, stroll. I mean, the place reeks of it. It's bad to smell it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I've got a dressing on my nose. Haven't you ever seen a man who's fallen over before? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sergeant. Right, I've got a little job for you, Nance. You're handy with a needle. Sew them on for me. <laughs> oh, your pyjamas? <laughs> well, what's funny about that? It's nothing, Sergeant. <laughs> and what do you think you're doing, you little Glaswegian bug? <laughs> Having a drink. You're drunk. <laughs> Correct. You're on a charge. Of course I am. <laughs> Typical greedy jock having his drink out of a bucket. <laughs> As you know, in the sergeant mess, you know, the sergeant's mess, it's all cut glass in there. It's a fantastic place. Yeah, you don't have to rub it in, sergeant. <laughs> oh, but I do. You see, that is part of the pleasure of it, rubbing it in. You see, you and I will soon be parting company. And I want you lot to remember over the next 22 months that you helped me, a man that you ate, to get what he wanted most in a whole wide world. It's beautiful, isn't it? Cigar for the sergeant? <laughs> <laughs> Light for the sergeant! <laughs> I have told you lot before, and I'll tell you once again. <laughs> I am asbestos. <laughs> That hat, aren't you? Yes. Well, accidents will happen. It's very good of you to take it like that, sir. Can I go wrong?